Yo guys, what's going on? Christopher Lopez here with BeastBrotherhood.com and in today's video we're going to be covering the best workout for men. Now, <laughs> uh, I may offend you here, but I don't really care. Uh, you're a man, you need to lift weights. I'm sorry. Uh, lifting should come first. Now, this is just my two cents. It's my opinion, which means it's because it's my opinion, we're going to treat it as fact because I'm just awesome. So. Uh, hear me out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's a joke. I'm not. I'm not that awesome. But but we're gonna treat. We're gonna treat my opinion. I'm gonna show you my opinion, and then we're gonna cover why I feel this way. Um, number one, you're a guy, so your testosterone levels are super important. Okay, with that testosterone, you, you you're you know you you start to feel like shit. You feel unmotivated. Um, you know you start to cry during certain commercials and stuff. <laughs> so you start to watch Lifetime. Um, <laughs> Uh, no, but seriously, your testosterone levels are super important. So, weight training is one of the best things you can naturally do for your testosterone levels. Weight training is great, high fat diet is great, healthy fat diet is great. Um, testosterone is huge, right? It helps you feel better, it helps you go through your day, it helps you, helps you with your mentality on certain things, it helps you feel strong, it helps you recover faster. So, so, testosterone is huge. That's number one. So by strength training, you're actually just helping your body maintain a healthy level of testosterone. You know, distance running doesn't do that. It actually does the opposite, okay? So I'm not, I'm not telling you to stop distance running, actually I am, uh, and start picking up weights, because weights will make you stronger, they will build muscle, they will allow you to protect your family if shit ever goes down. When I was in my 20s, I lifted because I wanted to get girls and I wanted to feel better and I wanted to look better and I wanted to be cocky and confident, whatever. Now that I'm 30, okay, my priorities are different. I have a family now, I have a beautiful wife and a beautiful little daughter and my priority is to be able to protect them at all costs. So I view that as my reason, okay? So training should be not just to look better and feel better, but there should serve some deeper purpose and some deeper meaning, right? God forbid you have to run away from a natural disaster or an attack or something like that and you have to run or you have to pick up your kid and run to get away from whatever shit just happened behind you and you can't run because you're out of shape or you can't pick your kid up because you're not strong enough to do that or you can't pick up somebody who's wounded or, or in trouble, you can't pick them up and throw them over your shoulder. That's a problem. Because that person's only saving grace might be you. Think about that. that per if something happens, right? Now see, you guys got me all fired up. Something happens, that person's only saving grace whether you know them or not. You may be the only person in that situation with them at that specific time shit happens or something happens and you cannot Throw them over your shoulder and run away or pick them up and help them or, or, or whatever, okay? I mean, there's videos of guys, people picking up cars because somebody's trapped underneath. What if you can't do that? I'm not saying I can pick up a car, but you need to be ready. And marathon running is not going to get you ready. You can get, it gets you ready to run away, but if there's somebody that you need to help, you just gonna leave them there and run? Like, you know what I mean? So, so you have to be ready, you have to be strong, you have to be in good condition, you have to be in good shape. So strength training to me, to me, opinion, <laughs> which means it's true, uh, is you need to be strong, 100%. Conditioning comes as well after that, okay? You wanna be in great condition, great shape, lift faster, don't take so much breaks. You know, don't take 10 minute breaks in between your sets of bench. You know, take 10 second breaks, 30 second breaks, or throw in some conditioning circuits. But some form of strength training should be first. And it, I'm not saying you need to body build, I'm not saying you need to power lift. You need to lift something, okay? You can do kettlebells, you can do body weight workouts, you can do uh, bars and dumbbells, you can go old school bodybuilding, you can do power lift. But you need, to, you need to, to be strong in some sense of the word, right? Just running on a treadmill, uh, or if you want to call it that, you know, I see, I see you guys at the gym. I know I see you on the elliptical going half speed like this. You're like throwing your arms into it. You know what I mean? I see you guys do that. You know what I mean? Start lifting weights. Start doing pull-ups and push-ups and bodyweight work and kettlebells. You know, 
Get, get, some, get some sledgehammers and swing those around. There's some weight to them, you know? But do something that, that's not just your basic cardio. Do some strength training, do some lifting. If you guys need help with this, okay? You want some direction. This is what I do for a living, all right? So reach out to me. Leave a comment down below. Say, Chris, I need help. I don't know where to start. Leave a comment. I will be more than happy to help you, okay? And I, this, you know, this is me reaching out and saying, look, if you were watching this video, you obviously don't know what the best approach is for something like this. So, so use it. Use the video. Reach out to me. Comment down below. If this video, if you think this video would help somebody, feel free to share it. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. There's a ton of other training videos up for guys on this channel. And this is a good start uh, for you to kind of sift through the videos, check out the different things that I talk about uh, and different ways that they could possibly help you. All right? Um, if you like this video, I want to thank you for just checking it out and making it this far and allowing me to talk some shit. <laughs> uh, but there's, I'm going to leave a free gift up for you guys on the right hand side. Um, feel free to click, click on the link, get your free gift and hopefully this helps you get your bearings as far as like training and how to start training with weights. Uh, but again, the best way to train if you're a guy for men is to do some sort of resistance strength training, muscle building training, something that's going to make you stronger. Again, bars and dumbbells, kettlebells, body weight, pull-ups, push-ups, squats, lunges. Doesn't have to be complicated. You just have to do something. Shit, you can even make a sandbag. You know what? I'm going to link up my sandbag making video and you guys can see how to make a sandbag. Because that thing fucking weighs 90 pounds. <laughs> you start throwing that around, you're going to be fucking going beast mode on people. Um, I'll, put, I'll link that video for you guys as well. So. Uh, free gift on the right hand side of the screen. I'm going to link up the sandbag video as well. You can check that out. Uh, and that's all I got guys. But start lifting weights. Start getting stronger. That's, that's the only thing that matters at this point. We live in a fucked up world man and stuff's happening all over the place. You may be the, the difference in somebody's life if they need you. That's all I got to say. Uh, see you guys in the gym. Sorry if this video was uh, a little harsh but that's the truth. Bye guys.